We've got a hefty downpour here in downtown Columbia. That's rain, and we've had a couple of lightning strikes here and there. As far as watches and warnings go, all of our warnings are up north of the border. We still have a watch in effect until 11 o'clock. A severe thunderstorm watch for Chester, also uh, Union, and Lancaster County. So let's take a look at what's going on. Most of the storms up to the north, but we've had this one batch that's kind of uh, tapping into some of the instability that we've got here in the Midlands, and it's uh, just going to cruise at around 30 miles per hour over Columbia. We've got still some more activity that's after this cell that will be moving through. So we've got this one smaller cell and then more activity just over to the west and also around I-20 south of Batesburg, Leesville. Just south of Newberry, some new lightning strikes there. And as you can see, this storm right here around Pond Branch Road continuing to the east over to, uh, down Two Notch Road, I should say, uh, as we head into the next couple of uh, hours here. But this one right here is just now moving into Columbia. A couple lightning strikes here and there. Very heavy rains. A quick heavy downpour really. It will most likely up towards Forest Acres by now. This is a fast moving system. Now the rest of the uh, hours that we've got tonight, about a 30% chance of more rain and storms at 12 and at 2 o'clock by 4 o'clock 74, 72 by 6 o'clock. Now this is the model that's got a pretty good handle on on this situation. So that's why I'm keeping the first alert weather day up. It's got the showers and storms still with us at 11 o'clock. Another cell around the Aiken area moving over to the east around Sumter. So some heavier downpours and some lightning and very gusty winds all a possibility throughout the early morning hours. This is at two in the morning for your Tuesday and then all that activity slides down to the south and east and things clear up and dry up as dry air filters in behind Behind this cold front right here. So all the nice dry air filters in for your Tuesday. Sunny skies. Temperatures in the uh, 90s, around 93 degrees for your Tuesday. And then into Wednesday, high pressure is just up to our north there. And we're staying nice and dry. Still hot. Highs in the low 90s for your Wednesday. Then Thursday, even mid-90s. A few more clouds creeping in Friday with a chance of some showers. About a 20% chance of some rain and storms for your Friday. Friday, and then it pushes up to the north and east. And we've got by Saturday some heavier rain that's pushing into the region. Now, as you can see by Sunday, still another chance of rain once again as the cold front nears. Now, as we progress throughout the week, you can see our humidity is going to increase. Friday, 3 o'clock. Saturday, 3 o'clock. We're looking at humid conditions, even very humid conditions by Sunday. So enjoy the drier weather before the heat and the humidity comes for Saturday into Sunday. 30 to 40 percent chance of some rain and storms. Now in the tropics, we've got what's left of Cindy that's moving into this area right here. And in the next seven days, if it moves into this area, 30% chance of developing into something tropical. So it was Cindy, and it could become their next name system. It's a small chance, though. Lots of sunshine Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 95, mid-90s Friday. 30% chance of a few afternoon showers and storms. Saturday, Sunday, 40% chance. Remain at a 40% chance Monday and Tuesday. And Wednesday, Thursday, still humid, still hot, and still looking at a chance of rain and storms in the afternoon.